It's one of my friend's birthday today. I'm gonna go visit him. He lives two hours away by train. So I'm gonna visit him for the day and we're gonna thrift and then later meet up with his friends and either watch a movie or go to like a board game cafe. I think that sounds nice. I wanted to show off my gifts for him because I thought they were cute. He has talked about, briefly talked about wanting to make kombucha and I make kombucha so I made him a little uh, kit in a pickle jar <laughs> for starting out. It has starter liquid which you need and a scoby. He might use it, I don't know. And then I sewed this little fish uh, keychain which I ended up, <laughs> I really like this actually, I was surprised by how well it turned out, especially pleasing to me with the linen material instead of cotton. We got to know each other on an island and we've sailed a lot together so I felt it was fitting. So very uh, DIY vibes for this. I'm also on my first day of my period. Yesterday I was just crying all day, I was really in that mood. It all makes sense. <laughs> But I'll bring some painkillers and I think it's gonna be okay. Check out this little guy. A little keychain. I got her for free at a thrift store yesterday. I went into a store and I bought a skirt. And then I also wanted her and they were like, what's the price? I was like, I'm not sure. She said, you take that. So I love when they do that. <laughs> she actually came with a little dress, but it was falling apart. So I'll see if I can fix that. I need to do some reading today. <clears throat> I have a presentation next week. I need to read the article that I'm presenting with my group. I'm also considering beginning a sweater knitting project. I haven't knitted a sweater in a little minute. It was yarn I found at like a swapping spot four years ago, I want to say, in the basement of my old school. Someone had knitted like a poncho with dark and light gray stripes. And I unraveled that and I knitted a whole sweater that didn't work out that I unraveled again. So now I have this twice unraveled yarn that I want to <laughs> give another shot. Maybe it will become thrice unraveled. I think that's a nice sentiment that you can always unravel whatever you make. It, it makes it less daunting to knit anything because you can just redo it. When I was visiting my parents, I was talking about a pair of headphones that I kind of wanted to buy. Uh, the cost Porter Pros. Not because of TikTok. I don't even have TikTok. I found out when I was researching them that they are popular on there. Whatever. I just said that I liked that they had personality because no electronics have personality anymore. If you're wondering about the siren, that's, that's me. Uh, there's a siren in my background. And so because I was talking about the 80s look, my parents pulled out all their, all their old 80s things and I started to request looking through it even more stuff and it was really fun actually. I really loved looking through all of their weird little things they've saved. There's this camcorder, VHS camcorder that my mom has like recorded a lot of my childhood on, for example. I really love that they still have that and I would like to try to use it sometime. Just I've also looked at a camera on a secondhand marketplace that records onto a DVD. <laughs> it's like shaped like a DVD on the side. I love that so much. I kind of want it just for the, the sheer nostalgic factor of that, such a specific time period. 
since I was talking about 80s headphones, my dad was like, do you want these? They're Sennheiser, do you want them? And um, I said, yeah, I do. You can see that they were made for indoor listening. They were made for listening to your own music uh, with the freedom of a really long cable. <laughs> I really love the look of these and they have great sound. The only problem is, of course, they don't have any uh, filtering of noise coming in from the outside. No noise cancel and no isolation of from the outside world either, which can be nice if you're walking in like a forest and the sounds of the birds come in as well. But if you're walking next to a busy road, then you can't hear your music or your podcast at all whatsoever. I've really been enjoying using these actually. I've been trying <laughs> to practice the, the idea that I already have everything I need in general. Everything that I want is stuff that I want and stuff that's not even necessarily nice to have but nice to want. This constant longing after more is so instilled in us on a societal level, especially on social media. Everything is about new things. <laughs> so rarely are people just talking about things they already own because of the novelty aspect of bringing something new into your life. So I've thought about the Porta Pros, I like them, I like the idea of using them, but I'm like, I have my own version of that that are even more unique because they're not popular online. <laughs> and they do the same thing that I wanted the Porta Pros to do because the Porta Pros don't have any noise cancel either. I know that I do thrift hauls and I know that I do talk about new things on my channel because it is exciting and fun to show off new things. And I do really love going thrift shopping. Um, but more and more I find I like look at thrift stores and everything just feels like just stuff. It's like the collective consumption level has polluted everything so much that the quality of things in thrift stores is also falling a lot. The prices are rising and the quality is falling. I go in a lot of thrift stores and don't even find anything that I, I'm even interested in looking at because I also like going in thrift stores just to kind of take in all of the items, almost like looking at a museum where you can buy something if you want to, but you don't have to. I do like just looking, but I find more and more I'm just kind of tired of all the new things. Thrifting is unpredictable and that's something I really like about it. If you go in looking for something really, really specific, you're like, I need a grey, slinky, tight-fitting top in my size, you're not gonna find that. You're gonna find like a 1940s bike helmet that you really want to hang on your wall instead um, and you almost get surprised by yourself in what you like in the thrift store and I, I really like that part but I'm not personally doing a no buy period at all but I do think content about it is really interesting because of all of the levels of uh, the people's psyche are involved in this of like why do we want the things that we want? I watched a video talking about like cleaning out your stuff as like kind of the horseshoe opposite end of uh, over consuming is like having to clean out stuff and throw out stuff and getting rid of stuff as like another way to renew your life and never just staying at the, the top of the horseshoe of like things just staying the same. You don't buy new things and you don't get rid of the things you have. You just stay content with what you already have. I thought that was really interesting and I'm reflecting on my own needs and behaviors. I sometimes cut out these talking portions because it's I'm just talking off the top of my head and, and when I'm editing it feels too incoherent uh, or like irrelevant almost. I've said it before, I feel like there's so much noise on the internet and everyone's saying something just to say something and my counter reaction sometimes is just to go very quiet but I also know that you guys like it when I talk I'm continually surprised I think by 
the positive feedback I get on my talking portions of my videos or the videos that where I have voiceovers. So I do hear you. I just sometimes get a little bit in my head about what I'm saying and whether or not it adds value to your life. I will say, in the spirit of uh, things I've had for a long time, I really, really love this charm that I bought when I was maybe 11 or 12 in Finland in the Moomin store at the airport. Um, I bought this Hedifnet, I don't know that's the Danish name for it, but this, uh, this character from the Moomin universe. But I've had this for over 10 years, not in my keychain the whole time, but it's been on my keys for two years now and I really, I get happy every time I see it. So, they're in good company. This was the skirt that I bought. It's like a very crinkly material. It has a little sewing detail on the bottom that I like. And it has pockets. I'm still trying to figure out how I like to wear it. I am ambivalent about skirts and I prefer to wear them with pants underneath, but right now I'm trying with just with the leggings underneath. Kind of noisy, I guess someone wouldn't like that, but I like it. I think I need to eat some breakfast. <laughs> this is breakfast less behavior of me. little trip on our friend's sailboat today because the weather was nice and now I want to get started on the gray sweater I was talking about. I just want to make it a relatively quick project that I can throw on my knitting needles and then wear pretty much after that. What are you doing right now? <laughs> okay, look, well, if you start freaking out and you need anything, just holler, okay? I will not need it.
Just came back from my weekly swim workout. I go to an indoor pool and I swim a kilometer. This time I forgot my moisturizer, so my skin feels really tight. Honestly, the biggest workout is biking up the hill back home. It's pretty steep and I'm not in bike shape. I'm not used to biking. I prefer to walk, but each week I bike a little further up that hill, so I think that's good. I've had a, a good day. I made a list yesterday at night thinking what I wanted to do. Clean, read, and go swimming, and then read some more. And I've done all that, so that feels really good. It's only two o'clock. So I'm gonna make a matcha, and I'm gonna read some more because we have extra classes this week. In two weeks, I don't have any more classes, and then I just have to write an exam, and then I have my summer vacation. That feels wild. Then after the summer vacation, it's time for me to write my bachelor. It's on the fifth semester for my my degree, I guess. Even though it, d it does feel kind of like I just started, I it's time to write my bachelor next semester. So I'm trying to wrap my head around that. <laughs> I've been on a kick of making good kombuchas, which is as simple as not letting it ferment for too long. The first fermentation period, I think in the beginning I just let it sit for too long and now I've found that a week is fine. I like it to be a bit more sweet. Today I made the decision to throw out all of the old scobies that I've kept. And I just kept the one <laughs> because I do want to keep one in case something goes wrong, but I've just kind of kept all of them. I feel bad throwing them out because I paid for one, but it's a byproduct. So I have so many. That's kind of gross. It's our food trash.